Hello friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about application of integral. We already know that integral can be applied to compute arc length, area of curves, probability, surface area. In this video, we are particularly focusing on computing volume of solid objects using integrals. And here, we will be focusing on various methods like cross-section method, disk method, washer method and shell method we know that area is the numerical measure of two dimensional region similarly volume is the numerical measure of a three dimensional solid for example the volume of a cuboid which is l into b into h volume of a sphere which is 4 by 3 pi r cube volume of a cone which is 1 by 3 pi r square h and volume of pyramid which is one third base area into height these formulas were derived using geometry alone all these formulas can be obtained by using integration so in this video we are discussing on how to compute such volume using integration there are two common approach of computing volume of objects using integral these are calculating volumes using methods of cross section which is also called slicing method and under the cross section method there are more there are two more types they are called disk method and washer method and the another approach is cell method so in this video we will be focusing on cross section methods only and in the next video we will be discussing about disk washer and shell method we know we can determine the volume of solid by integrating a cross section this is about getting the volume of solids by cross-section times height of the solid objects. For example, we are already familiar with the volume of a cylinder where we use the formula base area into height. In this case, the base area means the area of cross-section. We have also computed the volume of cuboid in which we use the formula base area into height. Base area in this case means the cross-section area. So basically speaking, volume is the base area into height which we are familiar with. The same concept we are going to apply when we use the integration to compute the volume means the base area into height while talking about the method of cross sections the cross section can be rectangle or a square and we slice all the cross sections across the line and we add it all together to get the volume the cross sections can be a circle which we will collect together along a line and then we will get the volume the cross section can be a triangle we will collect all such cross sections and get the volume we know that the cross sections can be squares rectangles triangles semicircles circles or any other shapes for example a square a circle or triangle and it can be any other shapes as well we do this by slicing the solid into pieces which we call it cross sections and then estimating the volume of each slice each cross sections and then adding these estimated volumes together to get the volume of a solid so in the first picture we will collect all such cross sections along the x-axis in the second we do the similar things in the third we do the similar things but you must notice that the slice must be parallel to one another the cross section must be parallel to one another so given the cross section area a of a solid within the interval a and b the cross sections are perpendicular to x-axis then the volume of the solid is integration over a to b area times dx here dx means it is a kind of thickness along the height of the object or along the length of the object in this picture we are collecting all the disks along x-axis in the second picture we are collecting all the disks along y-axis so in the first picture we will integrate the base area with respect to x in the second picture we will integrate the base area with respect to y so let us talk about definition suppose fx is a continuous function on the interval a and let ax be the area of cross section bounded by the definition of fx then the volume equals to integration over a to b ax times dx you can see that when we slide the cross section then it will be like a 3d object and when we slice it all together it will be a solid when we collect all such cross sections it will give the volume of the object we will first compute the cross section area then we will collect all such cross sections along the given line and then we will get the volume of the object next in this case the cross section is a square which is formed by the point on the graph of a function 
when we slide this cross section it will be a solid and we drag all the cross sections it will give a three dimensional object and then collecting all such cross sections we will get the volume of such three dimensional object the cross section can be a circle when we collect all such circles then it will form a solid and integrating the circles as a base area from 0 to let's say 4 we will be able to compute the volume of the solid so formed please note that the cross section can also be a triangle when we drag this triangle it will form a solid object and integrating all the triangles along the line we will get the volume of this object so this is what we discussed in the simulation as well so now we will see some examples calculate the volume of a solid whose base is bounded by a graph of fx equal to root over sin x from x equal to 0 to x equals to pi and the x-axis with perpendicular cross sections that are squares so first of all we will plot the graph fx is equal to root over sin x and then we will construct a square that is formed by the point on the graph and now this square is a cross section using the formula the volume of such solid will be base area times dx where integration range from a to b in this case the range of integration will be 0 to pi that is why our formula will be 0 to pi and base area means cross section is a square it will be l square times dx in this case the point on the x-axis is 0 for the y value and point on the graph is root over sin x for the y value that is why the length of the square is difference of these two values which is root over sin x once we put this value then we will be able to find the value of l square which is sin x so doing the integration of sin x we will get minus cos x and taking the range from 0 to pi then we will get the value minus times cos pi minus cos 0 and cos pi is minus 1 and cos 0 is 1 and therefore the volume of the object so formed is 2 cubic unit let us see another example as well find the volume of a solid whose base is bounded by the graph of a function x square plus y square equals to 9 with perpendicular cross sections that are equilateral triangles in this case the graph is a circle and so using the formula we know that volume is equal to integration a to b base area means area of cross section into height here the range of a and b is minus 3 to 3 because the equation of the circle x square plus y square equal to 9 gives the center at the origin and its radius is 3 that is why the range of the integration is 3 unit left to the origin and 3 unit right to the origin that is why it is minus 3 to plus 3 so the range of integration will be minus 3 to 3 times area of cross section into dx here the so formed cross section is equilateral triangle that is why its area is root 3 a square by 4 where a is the length of the side of the triangle now we will take root 3 by 4 common and then a square means a square of the length of the side of the triangle in this case let's say this is the point at x axis means the value of y is 0 and by the equation of the circle this is the point which gives the y value root over 9 minus x square that is why we will be able to find the length of the equilateral triangle which is 2 times the difference of these two y values the difference of these two y values is root over 9 minus x square therefore the total length will be 2 times root over 9 minus x square since the formula is root 3 by 4 times the integration over minus 3 3 a square and a means here 2 times root over 9 minus x square that is why a square means 2 times root over 9 minus x square whole square and dx now we will integrate it to find the volume the square of 2 is 4 that is why this 4 and 4 is cancelled so the volume is root 3 times the integration of 9 minus x square times dx the integration of 9 is 9x and the integration of x square is x cube by 3 for the limits minus 3 to 3 then we will put the value 3 first time and then we will subtract the value by keeping the variable x equal to minus 3 after a bit of calculation we will get it the volume of such solid is 36 root 3 cubic unit
We will see one more example. Find the volume of a solid whose base is bounded by the graphs of y equal to 4x and y equal to x square with perpendicular cross sections that are circles. This is the figure where y is equal to 4x is a straight line and y equal to x square is this curved line. According to the formula, the volume of such solid is area of cross section times dx. Here, area of cross section is the area of circles, which is bounded by y equal to 4x and y equal to x square. So in this case, the area of circle is pi r square. The range is over from 0 to 4 because when we solve y equal to 4x and y equal to x square, these two curves intersect at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 4. That is why the range of the integration is 0 to 4. Since the cross section is a circle, the area of cross section is pi r square. In this case, the radius means the distance of y, which is the difference of both functions. That is why for this point, the y value is x square. In this case, the lower point, which has a y value x square, and the upper point, which has a y value 4x. Therefore, the diameter of the circle, which is the difference of both y values, is 4x minus x square. And this is the diameter. That is why the radius is 4x minus x square by 2. So our volume is pi times 4x minus x square by 2 and whole square. This is r square or this is y square in this case. Now we will integrate that to get the answer. So square of 2 is 4. That is why we will take it out. So we have a common pi by 4 times the integration over 0 to 4. 4x minus x square whole square. The formula gives, when we expand this formula, we will get it 16x square minus 8x cube plus x4 with integration over 0 to 4. And the integration of 16x square is 16x cube by 3. Integration of 8x cube is 8x4 by 4. And integration of x4 is x to the power 5 by 5. Since the lower limit is not necessary to put, so our volume is pi by 4 times some numbers. After a bit of calculation, we will get it. The volume of the so formed solid is 26.8 cubic unit. With this, we would like to end up here. In the next video, we will be discussing about how to use the integral to find the volume of a solid using disk method. Thank you.